Hey there, just a quick moment before the video begins, I just want to mention that I am on Patreon now, so if you guys want to help me and help the channel grow, make sure to check it out, the links will be in the descriptions below. Hey everyone, Sponge Murphy here, and I'm finally, finally, I'm so happy to say that I am sitting here at my hobby desk, in the hobby shade. Oh, it's such a sigh of relief to say I can finally sit here. It's, it's done, it's finished, it's... 99% finished um, the desk is here which is the most important thing um, I have my setup here and moving things out slowly now I have my paint desk and getting a few boxes out I have a new little station here for my camera up here so I hope the angle is okay um, the only thing that's left to do for the hobby shed is to get the electricity out but for now I'm using an extension lead which is working fine uh, I have a light I forgot I snapped up then. Um, but I finally had to get out here. So I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of what it looks like. Uh, it's going to be pretty quick. It is small. You've seen a good bit of it before. But you haven't seen some of the decorating I've done. And at the end, you'll get a look at the new paint station, paint table area. So let's have a look. We have this is the wall on the right when you first come in. So you come in through here. You're looking around, first thing you see is all these posters and all these um, Marvel cards. So I start with these. These are the Marvel Trump cards that I collected about six years ago. I'm about 20 short of, this, of the set and I'm not pushed on getting them uh, anymore because, you know, it was six years ago I have enough of them. And I have like a lot of these doubled as well. So I thought, might as well stick them on the wall, it'll be a nice decoration instead of having posters up. And this kind of shape here is kind of a an awkward size for posters. It's a bit too small. So I, and honestly I thought this was only going to just fill one side. I'd end up pushing a whole other side. So uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, I have my Fallout poster, GTA, another GTA one down here. Uh, the Cot Sailor posters, the Wexford Cot Sailors, which I am... Um, right in there in the back if you can see my bald head uh, and of course the big massive warhammer uh 40k poster which i got with the really old white dwarf um a couple of years ago it's been so long now i can't remember this is a pain in the ass to put up because it's so huge uh it has like all the 40k armies on it and on the other side but i prefer the side uh, you got my follow poster, Star Wars one. Now this little section here, I have to go back with this, this camera. Uh, this little section here is for any memorabilia that I get, or any little pieces that get sent to me. So right now, here's the Wix World's poster from this year. It was on the seventh of the eighth in whites. Here's the program, and here's what I was doing. I had the Warhammer section here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and this is an art piece given to me by my friend Ed Doyle. He's a cartoonist, illustrator, and um, Space Marine fighting an orc, which is awesome. This is his own work, so I have his card up here next to it, Ed Doyle. Uh, Ed's Doodles is his Facebook page, so I'll link that below. Um, this is just the Fallout leaflet that they gave out on the night when it was pre-ordered, so it's just a nice little thing to have there, so, since I'm such a big Fallout fan, you know, it's nice to look at. Uh, then the back wall. Now this whole back wall is mostly going to be for darts. Like I have my darts set up here. Uh, oh, did I mention my two trophies? My selling and my darts trophy. You know, I have all my equipment, my boxes and my shafts, flights, my case, my sponge Murphy case. Um, uh, and I collect flights. I love darts flights. I think they're awesome. So I have like dozens of these and I ordered like mini bags to hang them up on the wall here for decoration so have some Budweiser darts these are my darts in the board now my Stephen Button darts a couple of packets of more flights unicorns that aren't even opened just stuck them up along the wall and then here you're going to have oh after knocking over something <laughs> the scoreboard so when I get one to fit in properly I'll get one another fallout poster uh, this is the first shelf we put up. You've probably seen this one before, but for now it's just kind of just bits left here until I find everywhere to go, until I find out uh, places for everything. Like I have like some work tools, pencils, screwdrivers, and all that stuff. More darts flights. I have darts flights out the wazoo. Um, and here we have my tripod. That's what I knocked over. 
wrecking the place. So I have my uh, my tripod. Uh, this is a workbench that my dad left me so they could have it. Uh, Martin's little chair. This is Martin's own little armchair we got him for Christmas. So he's going to have his own seat out here. So that's his little area. Um, and that is it then apart from the hobby desk which I am super happy to finally have up and Banjo sitting in my chair. Hi buddy. Um, we went down like a week and a half ago, something like that, two weekends ago. No, it wouldn't have been two weekends ago, but a week and a half ago. Um, got the sheet of wood, we got a cut. My dad edged the sides on there to make it look a little bit nicer. We put the legs up. Bada boom, finished. Thank God. Um, so I started moving stuff out. I have like some boxes under there. Uh, my painting desk, I had a little shelf there. That's the little shelf that the camera was up on. It's a nice little area to put on so it's looking down at me. Uh, I have all my bits and pieces and all here. Um, more time, this is what I'm going to be looking at over the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. Just a couple of warmer books. And my big painting shelf here. Um, no, I have so many because you see that grey box? Uh, about five years ago, I think. GW, maybe not five years ago. They did the big massive paint set. It was like 200 euro. My girlfriend got it for Christmas so I put these little shelves up and they fit perfectly. Uh, I have a few left over so I'm going to put a few more little shelves here to go across to finish it off. Like I have a few in this box. Um, then I have all my base and stuff, my grass, my slates and everything. There's still way more stuff to add in but I just haven't gotten up to the attic yet to get everything. And then over here, this is a cool little thing I've always had to have. A little whiteboard so I can remember what videos to do. If I get any ideas I can just jot it down and leave it up here and work on it. So I have the Sisters of Sigmar, Mordheim and Grand Alliance factions. That's stuff I want to do eventually. Um, so yeah, I think that is it then. I don't think there's anything else really to look at. Oh, if you're wondering why I have this big giant sponge thing here. This is off Martin's cot, his old cot. Um, the dartboard I have, the Unicorn Champions on, is good, but darts pop out of it all the time. So, and they always seem to go to the right. So you can see here, there's one poster that's getting damaged here. So I leave this here. So, darts fly out, they're going to stick in that instead of damaging the posters and my floor. Um, so that's the reason that's left there. That's just some leftover wood. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it. So hopefully you guys like that. Uh, I'm super happy to be out here. I'm still trying to figure things out, like where everything needs to go. Uh, a good camera angle for recording so I think when I'm talking on face to face the camera this little shelf here is perfect it's just looking down at me it's not too high um, and then I have to f look for painting tutorials anything like that uh, updates I just going to figure out as I go along so I'm going to try and get like a big camera arm so I can move around and everything but you know like you get all that eventually it's still early I still haven't even got everything out here there's still so much stuff I have to get in but um Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, the quick little tour. And if you liked it, make sure to leave a comment below. Let me know what you think you might have done different or something you might suggest to add in. Um, 